Hi, I'm Michael Rundle, editor of Wired.co.uk, and these are the coolest thing in the office this week. These are Wireless Armour, a new brand of smart underwear. All of our electronics emit radiation of some form, whether that's Wi-Fi, 4G, 3G, or just the radiation that comes from your battery or your screen. That over time, say the makers, can have an effect on your health, particularly for men and their fertility. The idea of these is to build a Faraday cage around the most valuable parts of your body and keep them safe. So no less than Sir Richard Branson has described these as underwear for superheroes. Traditionally, that would mean you'd have to wear them on the outside of your clothes. We don't recommend that. As you may expect, however, we have a few questions. First, isn't all armor wireless? Second, is it that necessary to protect your personal areas from microwaves? But third, there is the whole science thing. The truth is that while the debate around the health impacts of Wi-Fi and electromagnetic radiation is a pretty emotive one, the science is pretty conclusive. There is no direct link that's been proven between any illness and the type of radiation that will come from a mobile phone. Some studies have shown links between that type of radiation and fertility, although that too isn't 100% proven, and wireless armour don't make any direct claims about their product protecting against any specific kind of illness. Well, it doesn't mean that these aren't a stretchy, comfortable, perhaps even emboldening fashion item for the right gadget-obsessed chat. Uh, it doesn't also mean that you shouldn't be concerned about, or at least aware, of where you put your mobile phone on a day-to-day -day basis. On the other hand, we wouldn't rush out and buy a pair just because you're worried about passing on your genetic information in the near future. It's certainly cool to have silver mesh embedded around your junk. And they're the coolest thing in the wide office this week, but really the science is still out on these.